Canada is poised to be a leader in the emerging global bioeconomy. We have abundant natural resources, excellent food production, and a public health care system that is lauded around the world. With genomics, we can harness these assets to address climate change, fight hunger, and create healthy communities. Genomics combines biology, genetics, and computer science to give us an in-depth look at the DNA in all living organisms. And that can lead to all sorts of innovation. For example, in dairy cows, certain genes control specific traits like milk production and fat content. Using genomics to look at the DNA of newborn calves has revolutionized the dairy industry. Producers can now determine which calves have the genes related to the traits they want. Cows with a higher genomic score produce more milk and demand higher prices at auction, sometimes as much as double. In a similar way, aquaculture producers need fish that thrive in farms. Using genomics to study the DNA, producers can select the fish naturally predisposed to grow quickly and produce the best quality product at harvest. For example, genomics helped halibut producers select fish that naturally grow more quickly, helping them get their product to market 20% faster. Genomics can play a role in wild fisheries too. It can provide precision monitoring of wild stocks to track their migration patterns, fluctuations in population and disease transmission, and adaptations to climate change. For example, researchers use genomics to build a tool to monitor wild salmon stocks. It's used by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans as well as 70 labs around the world. Genomics can also provide valuable information for our forest industry in everything from breeding programs and pest management to climate change. In fact, genomics was crucial to a new biosurveillance tool that detects pests quickly and accurately. This is essential to keep invasive species out of Canadian forests and to protect our valuable trading status with other countries. Food production, fisheries, forestry, that all makes sense. But what about other industries? In the energy sector, we're focused on bacteria and other microscopic organisms that can have positive and negative impacts on the industry. Oil extraction in Canada is costly and resource intensive, but some tiny organisms known as microbes help to break down materials that are hard to extract. When these microbes are at work, recovery rates increase by 5 to 10 percent. Using genomics to look at the DNA of microbial communities can help us make the most of these natural processes. Microbes also play a role in the mining sector, where water treatment is a huge challenge. Some microbes act like tiny water purifiers. Using genomics to study their DNA, we can find better ways to use microbes in water treatment systems. This has the potential to help companies save up to $100 million per facility. Microbes can clean up other toxic materials as well. For example, Canadian researchers cultivated a community of naturally occurring microbes that can safely clean up sites contaminated with toxic chlorinated solvents. In one setting, 98% of the chemicals were remediated in less than six months. This innovative solution is now used in contaminated sites around the world. Finally, genomics can also lead to major innovations in healthcare. You've probably heard about genomics and its value in diagnosing and treating certain cancers. But did you know it can help us with infectious diseases too? For example, Researchers used genomics tools to best treat HIV with multiple drugs. The powerful combination of targeted drugs and genomic tools to guide their use has transformed HIV into a manageable chronic disease with dramatically reduced prevalence. Efficient food production, healthy forests, sustainable solutions for our resource industries, and healthier citizens. Genomics is leading to answers in all these areas and more. Talk to us to see how we can help.